Hello Aries! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the uh, Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman. Artwork by Katrina Sokolova. Hopefully that's in focus. There is a website. There's two actually. ToriHartman.com and WatkinsPublishing.com Feel free to freeze frame if you want that information. Support of Oracle Cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Website for this one. <coughs> Excuse me. WatkinsPublishing.com.au is an apple, you is an umbrella. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Again. <coughs> coughing fit, coughing fit. Okay. Okay. Are we in? Mm -hmm. I think we're going into a start, by the way. I think something's about to start. Somebody is nervous about you. And you're not really sure if you should actually put the effort into it anyway. Kind of like... Their energy is coming in with the strength card, kind of like, ah, uh, I like that Aries, but I don't know about them. They're not really confident right off the bat. Um, I, th I feel like it's just stereotypical stuff, though. Like, sometimes people see the strength of Aries, <coughs> and they just see the harsh. <coughs> Excuse me. They just see the harsh side. They don't understand that that's triggered by, you know, the need to be honest. Like, you don't put up with bull very well. And when somebody lies to your face or pl plays a little BS game with you, you call it out. And you can be a little harsh about it, but sometimes that's warranted. Kind of like you're setting the stage. Like, listen, don't lie to me. And by the way, if you lie to me, I'm going to make your life difficult. Don't lie to me. You're not going to like it. Um, that's kind of like how it comes across. Like, you want to lie to me, I'm not going to like you, and I'm going to make sure you realize... Lie to me, it's not going to be comfortable. This is going to be an uncomfortable conversation and you're not going to like it. I don't like being lied to. You're not going to like it when I tell you that I don't like to be lied to. And that's how we're going to balance that out. Um, you have a strength. You get right to the point. Uh, Aries tends to be like, bam, let's just deal with it. Bam, this is it. Bam, don't beat around the bush. Boom, this is what the problem is. So this person seems to have, either they have or they, when they first experience you, that's how they experience you. They, but they see the harsh. They don't realize what triggered that harsh moment. It's not, it's not a bad quality. And it, in fact, it's not even a bad quality for them. Like it's, it's not something that's going to be a problem for them. They don't realize that because they don't understand what triggered it. Because um, they feel like once they realize, oh, that's why, oh, that's how that happened. I feel like they're kind of like, well, oh, well, all right, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like once they realize the dynamic there, they're like, well, well, actually, all right, yes, that makes sense. Um, you might realize that they don't understand your personality. Uh, I don't know how far that goes. It's general read, but it feels like you know that they don't get, they don't see you for who you really are. They don't get it. And you're not really sure you even want to explain it. Because you're kind of like, you know what, I don't need to explain it to anybody. It says nature journey, but I feel like I am who I am. You don't like it, you don't like it. For Aries, that's how I feel with this card. Kind of like, yeah, I am who I am. You don't like it, you don't like it. Uh, fine. I am who I am, you don't like it, you don't like it. And you're holding your ground with that, with the Nine of Wands. Kind of like, listen, I am who I am. You don't like it, you don't like it. I don't have to explain anything to you. It's not like you have negative feelings about this person, but you're kind of like, I'm, I don't need to explain who I am to you. Um, you kind of know that it would be better for you to, to kind of put that in perspective, but at the same time, you're like, but I don't have to, and I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Um, so you kind of know that this probably would go better if you did, but you do what you want. Aries does what they want. Like, do I need, yeah, you know that. Like, I, I need to tell it. Yeah, sure, I need to tell y'all. Um, <laughs> y'all know what you do. You, you do what you want. Um, 
But I feel like you do realize, like, it's it seems to, like, roll around your brain kind of like... It, maybe it wouldn't be a bad thing to clear that misunderstanding up. It's weird. It's kind of like, I don't need to explain myself to anybody. At the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, but maybe it would be good if I did. Like, me, I guess. I don't know. It's it's weird because Aries doesn't usually flounder between two. You either do it or you don't usually. So it's kind of a quasi-odd energy for Aries. For some reason, I feel like it keeps coming around. I don't know if there's people around you saying, you know what, if you explain who you are, that could go better. Or somebody saying, you know what, they might consider you for this over here if they understood how your personality really works. There might be another influence that's kind of like, you know, Aries, they just need to understand who you are and they will actually like that. They just don't get it. So you need to kind of, you know, educate them on who you are. And you're kind of like, Ugh, educate what? Like, it's, eh. So it might be pushed in that way. I think you're you're I think you're the one that's going to sort this out when you're want, when you want to when you want to um I feel like you will sort this out the powers in your hand this reading might be about that all like that may be the totality of what this reading is about something with this person could go a lot better this person actually is a like they're a complementary energy to you they are compa compatible the honesty thing is a great thing. I feel like they very much respect that. They just don't understand what they saw. Um, I feel like once you decide to go forward and explain this person, explain to this person, and I also feel like for some of you, they're also saying if you don't, that's the death card actually. The death card's going one, one, one way or the other. You're either going to explain the misunderstanding and you're going to realize that this is a good connection and this could be a good person in your life, or you're not going to and that's like they're gone it's just this person just is not going to be a part of your life i do think this is a good connection though um very active connection the justice card on your side you decide you get to decide i mean obviously but you know what i mean this is this is good like this is somebody i feel like will talk to your advantage this is somebody who will look out for you. This is somebody who will find information and is good at finding the actual, like, well, I see what that looks like, but let me do a little bit of work and me find out what actually happened. And this is somebody who could be like, you know what, Aries? I, you said that didn't look right, so I looked into it, and here's what I found. This happened, and that happened, and that's why that's going on over there, and you can see it from this. And they'll actually, this is somebody who's going to respect that you need proof. They will show you proof. Um, and they will get you the truth and they'll show you proof on why this is the truth. This is a great ally for you. Ace of Cups with that automatic writing. I feel like this is somebody, it could be a romance thing going in, but I feel like e even if it is, it's somebody who's going to understand like you want the truth and you need proof that this is the truth. I need to know it's the truth. I want the truth and I need to know it is the truth. They're going to respect that. This is somebody who likes this puzzle feel, kind of like, that doesn't look right. The Aries pointed out that that doesn't look right. Let me find out. Okay, I found out. Let me show the Aries why this is happening and what's actually going on. Good ally. Great ally, actually. Um, they're not going to approach you, though. There's a good and bad to this. I know you. I don't feel like you're a fan of that. Like, if you're not strong enough to come and ask me what's going on, like, why bother with you? I get that. On the other hand, though... This is also somebody who really takes it seriously, like, I have to have, I have to be on point with Aries. I gotta know what I'm talking about and prove that I do. So, this is like, they don't like to be on your bad side, they've seen what that's like. So they're gonna work double time to make sure they stay off your bad side. Not that you want somebody running scared, and I don't think they're gonna be running scared, but they're gonna realize, like, if this is somebody who once in a while has the tendency to run off at the mouth, and maybe talk about stuff that they don't have the backup for. When they're in your presence, they're not going to do that. They're going to be like, I'm not going to go running off at the mouth because if I say something and it's not true, the Aries is going to call me right out on it, and I don't want that. So you might actually help this person kind of develop a higher level of respect or like a higher quality sense of life. Kind of like a more, like, you know, instead of hanging out with people and just talking and letting rumors fly back and forth and adding into the rumors, they won't do that 
at least not as much, and definitely not in your presence because they're going to realize, I can't hang out with the Aries, I can't be friends with the Aries and play that type of ridiculousness because the Aries is going to call me right out on that and it's not going to be pretty. So it seems like it raises their quality of life. It, it raises their standards because you just don't tolerate that. Um, they're very motivated people too, by the way. They're self-starters. They do think they're self-starters. They do things on their own. Um, they have a lot of connections, and I feel like with your influence, these connections, like it just things. The quality about them is it goes better. And it does benefit you. These, they have a lot of connections, and a lot of these connections can benefit you. You can have a lot of opportunities will come from this person. They're a really good ally. Um, they'll also stay out of things that they're supposed to stay out of. I also feel like they have more respect of kind of like that. I shouldn't be involved in that. That's not my. That's not my marriage, or that's not my job, or that's not well. What I, you know? There's nothing I can do there that's will make things better. So I'm going to stay out of it. And they kind of learn that from you. If you can't do something positive, just leave it alone. Like, unless you're actually going to get in there and fix it, don't start problems. Um, they seem to, to step away from things that just are lower quality. I get that with the Two of Swords with them. They step away from things that are lower quality. I just keep getting that. Um, the two, of, Yeah, because I get the balancing of the community. They might change who they hang out with. You might help in the evolution of this person. You're going to really like this person, by the way. You got the sun card here. I also get healing. This person might also be an ally when you have to deal with people. And maybe it doesn't go well, usually. This person might deal with certain things that you just either... I don't know. It's not like you won't, but it's kind of like, I have to deal with that again. And instead of you having to deal with it, they're like, I feel like they'd be the type of person, especially since they're a self-start, they'll help that person get in line before you have to deal with them. They'll try to get ahead of it and try to fix it or deal with this person and be like, listen, <laughs> they might be like, listen, I know the Aries and trust me, the Aries sees what you're doing and I know the Aries isn't going to like it. So I recommend you fix it before the Aries comes over and fixes it for you because you're not going to like it. I'm going to tell you, I can tell you firsthand, you're not going to like it. So before the Aries comes over here and fixes your wagon, fix your own wagon. Um, they might be pre, preemptive, not preemptive, what's the word? They might be ahead of the situation like that. That's what we'll say. But they'll also keep you in, informed. They'll let you know, like, hey, Aries, I knew this was going on over there, and I kind of let that person know they better shape up before you come over there and fix it for them. So you might not have to. I mean, you could do it. You obviously are going to do what you want to do, but I just thought I'd give you a heads up in case, you know, you're noticing things go better with that person. I gave them the heads up. They better fix it now before you fix it for them. So hopefully that's helpful. I think, I think, I think Aries would appreciate that. Kind of like you have enough going on. If somebody, like if people just do what they're supposed to to begin with, it's a lot better. So this person kind of helping you out saying, yeah, I told that person they better get it in line before you fix it for them. I don't think you'd be upset with that. I don't know. You decide. Obviously, you're going to decide. Because I feel like they might be that type of person. So maybe that type of heads up will help you decide. If you're if you're the type of Aries, they're like, no, I don't want that. I feel like if you tell them, don't do that for me, they won't. They won't. But I feel like a lot of Aries would be like, all right, you know, try. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Let's see if it works. But if it doesn't work, I will step in and I will clean house. <laughs> I feel Good ally. I think this is a really good uh, ally. All right. This is all coming, like, if you take that step forward and clear up that miscommunication, I think it could be a really good ally. Also, the sun card makes me feel like there's other bonuses and benefits with this person. As you keep going forward, this might be somebody who's in connection with a lot of different people and can be very beneficial for you. Um, this almost feels a little bit, and I feel like I'm pushing it, but you might realize that this is somebody who they stay quiet at the right times and they get information because people don't realize that they're listening or that they're connected with you, something like that. So you might be getting intel and facts about what's going on without people realizing. So it might be something like that. I don't know. You'll have to figure that out as you keep going. It's a general read, but for some of you, I feel like this might be that person that's kind of like, they're connected, and they're connected with people who aren't the most honest, 
So they're a little bit covert, but you're like, but that's what I need to find out what's actually going on with these yahoos. So, I don't know, feel that out however you need to, because I feel like this person is loyal to you, and you can work in conjunction with them to, like, fix things without people realizing how you're figuring things out. I mean, Aries does have that strategic, you know, you have, you're very strategic when you need to be, so not for nothing. Alright, is there anything else? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.